What's going on guys? My name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, go ahead and click subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming coverage on iOS 13. Today we're talking about iOS 13 developer beta 2. So this was just released a few minutes ago. The update came in at around 700 megabytes on my iPhone 10s Max. So this is going to be a pretty substantial update on your iPhone. So the first feature is over the air updates are now a thing with iOS 13. So as you may know with iOS 13 beta 1, the only way to install it on your device was to use a computer and that was pretty silly. I don't know why Apple didn't enable over the air updates for iOS 13 beta 1. But here for beta 2 we finally have over the air updates. So this is the screenshot I took before I installed it. Uh, this is what I took when it was preparing the update. And here is a screenshot of the actual beta profile uh, on my device. I will jump over to the developer website also so you can see this. So before it just said iOS 13 beta and there was only a download link for the actual IPSW file. Now there is an actual install profile button uh, so you can install it a lot easier. The update took about 10 or 15 minutes to install. My internet was uh, being pretty fast today so the update actually installed pretty quickly. Um, there are a lot of bug fixes in this release. If you go ahead and read the release notes from Apple's developer website, it is an ultra long list. So I'm going to try to find a way to link that down below. So if I go through every change in this video, it's going to be an hour long video. So uh, you can go ahead and read that yourself. Uh, in this video, I just want to talk about some of the main changes in iOS 13 beta 2. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is 3D Touch is now re-enabled on all iPhones that support 3D Touch. So of course, my iPhone XS Max here still supports 3D Touch, and if I want to go to an app icon like YouTube, I can now 3D touch on it and it now shows that page. If I press and hold, nothing shows up. It only goes into wiggle mode. So before on beta one, that was a glitch that has been confirmed uh, by the senior vice president of iOS software, Craig Federighi, in a few emails. Uh, that was just a bug. 3D touch is not going away in iOS 13. Uh, so beta two finally fixes this. Uh, thank you, Apple. It makes my phone feel a lot faster because pressing and holding on these icons took way too long and sometimes it would glitch out. So now I can simply 3D touch and it opens that menu right there and it works even faster in control center. So if I want to go into uh, dark mode, all I have to do is quickly 3D touch on the brightness slider, whereas before I would have to press and hold and it uh, took a bit longer than beta 2 does. So it feels a little bit snappier on beta 2 when 3D touching on UI elements. Another change is inside the music application. So by far one of the biggest changes in iOS 13 is the option to have sing along lyrics in the music app. So it was a little bit buggy before, so I got to make sure my volume volumes all the way down so I don't get a copyright strike. But if I start playing a song here, you can see uh, here are the lyrics. Uh, first of all, the UI has changed just a little bit. I, uh, I read in the release notes that there has been a bit of a tweaked uh, version of the opacity blur in the background. So the opacity and the, uh, the blurred effect behind the lyrics might look a little bit different. Also, when you are scrolling through your lyrics, uh, there was a glitch where when you started to scroll up, it would automatically swipe down the entire UI. Now that doesn't happen. If you take a look at the top of the screen, as I'm scrolling, it fills the whole screen, but then as I scroll up, it kind of retreats back down into more of a paged view. So that looks a little bit better, and then if I don't touch the screen, it'll fill the whole screen again. So this was really annoying if you wanted to scroll up to the top of your song or see what lyrics are at the beginning of the song. As soon as you scrolled up, it would completely minimize the UI. Now it just scrolls to the top, and if you want to get out of it, you have to swipe one more time, and it goes down. So this is a much needed change. Another big change is for people that use the Files app that have a server that they need to connect to. So I don't have any server that I connect to, but apparently in beta one, this functionality was completely disabled. And now in beta two, it is functional again. So if I go ahead and open up files, and if I go to more locations by clicking edit, you can see connect to server. And now if you connect your server address here, it will connect properly. And it also looks like Apple fixed a whole bunch of issues with third-party applications using Face ID. So when I was trying to sign into my banking application, which I'm not going to do on camera for obvious reasons, um, for some reason it would just say there was an error every single time. Now Face ID works again with third-party applications. Uh, this could go back and forth with uh, future betas because third-party applications obviously haven't been updated to run on a beta software. Uh, that's to be expected though. So Face ID in beta 2 does work right now on third-party applications. 
There is a new welcome screen inside of Apple Maps. So I open up Apple Maps and I quickly bypassed this by accident and I didn't get it on camera. So I had to go and find a screenshot online. Uh, this is what it looks like when you open up Apple Maps for the first time in beta two. Uh, pretty much a new welcome screen showing you what is new in the application once you update to iOS 13. There are also a few updates inside of messages. So we have a few extra Memoji stickers. So if we open this up here, you can see my uh, personalized Memoji. It looks like Apple has added the hand on the chin the peace sign and fingers crossed. I don't really remember uh, what was here in beta one, but Apple definitely has added some new Memoji characters in iOS 13 beta two. If we go ahead and open up the camera, there is a completely new portrait mode option. So if we go to portrait here, uh, we get a little welcome screen as well. And there is a brand new option if we go all the way to the right, right past stage light mono called high key light mono. So if you take a picture of a person, obviously uh, it's not detecting anything except a wall here. Uh, you can take a picture in high key light mono and afterwards you can also change the intensity of the portrait mode effect. You can change the intensity of the light on the person's face. So this wasn't here in beta one. We now have the high key light mono option and the ability to change the intensity of portrait mode photos in beta two. So guys, that's pretty much it for all the changes that I can see on the surface. Of course, there might be a few little changes here and there. Uh, I will try to link below the change log of iOS 13 beta 2, just so you can read through all the changes yourself. If you find anything, tell me in the comments down below. Uh, once again, I really appreciate you guys choosing to click on my video. I know you have a lot of options to watch YouTube videos, and I really appreciate you guys uh, coming to watch my channel. So drop a like on this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.